Hello there guys and welcome to Student Meals. In this episode I will show you how to make a super easy and a super delicious appetizer. If you're throwing a party and you want to impress your friends, this is the recipe that you definitely want to use. I hope that you enjoy this episode. So what you'll need is about two slices of smoked salmon. It really depends for how many people you're making this, so you can decrease or increase the amount of salmon. A small handful of dill, one quarter of a red onion, I'm going to leave it as a half for the sake of cutting it, some guacamole. You can either make it yourself or buy it in the store. We chose to buy it in the store because it's a bit more of a mousse rather than chunky pieces of uh, guacamole. But if you have a mixer at home you can easily make it yourself. And find Finally, for the seasoning, some pepper. I'm just going to add pepper, no salt, because guacamole is already seasoned and the smoked salmon is pretty salty on its own. So, let's do this. So the general idea of this recipe is going to be to cut everything really, really fine. So I'm going to start off with the onion. So basically chop it up as you would with a normal onion. Just make sure that the pieces are smaller than usual. As you can see, it's quite fine, but it can be finer. So you can just take your knife with the sharp side down, place your hand on it and run it through the onion a couple of times. It looks pretty fine to me. So now I'm just going to set it aside. Next up, dill. Basically do the same as with the onion. Try to chop it up as fine as you can. There we go, set it aside as well. Last up. Salmon. Just put both slices on top of each other and let's chop it up. First lengthwise and then into small pieces. There we go. As you can see it's quite finely chopped. Now it's time to make the mixture. Take a bowl and put your salmon in there. Add a little bit of the onion and a little bit of the dill. I'm adding a little bit because the onion differs in size, quantities are not the same, so you gotta basically mix, taste and find the right balance that you like. Some people like more onion, some people like less, so basically experiment with it. And finally I'm just going to give a small crack of pepper on top. Let's mix it up. Just going to add a little bit more onion and dill. I think that's enough. Set this aside and let's move on to the next step. So in a few minutes I'm just going to be dressing up the whole presentation of the uh, appetizer. For the guacamole you can choose how you do it. You can either scoop it with a teaspoon and place it next to it. But I like to do it with a zip bag. It's a bit easier and it looks a bit more pretty. So I'm just going to take a good spoonful and put it in a zip bag. I'm just going to make my piping bag basically. Not too much. There we go. Close the zip bag. Make sure everything is at one point, like that, twist it around and you have yourself a makeshift piping bag. Finally, I'm just going to cut off a small tip. Make sure not to cut off too much, just a small bit. There we go. So for the presentation's sake, I'm going to give you three examples how you can present it. So basically, you take a little bit less than a teaspoon of the mixture, put it in your hand, roll it into a ball or knead it into a ball, whatever fits you. Make sure that your hands are clean, of course. Then put it on a teaspoon, put it in a small plate or in a glass. Take your piping bag and put a little bit of guacamole just in front of it, just like that, next to it or next to it in a glass. There we go. And as a finishing touch you can put a little bit of dill on top and then you can just serve it up with a spoon, with a spoon or of course on a spoon ready to eat. And there you go. Time for a test test. Cheers. Mmm, 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 mmm. I just love the combination, the, the smoked salmon, the guacamole, the dill, the onion. It's perfect together. We ate this on a um, wedding party of one of our friends and immediately when we had this we're like, oh my god, we need to recreate this for student meals because it's it's so simple yet so delicious. So if you guys are having a little party or get together, um, we would definitely recommend you trying this appetizer. So thanks again for watching this episode. We hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget you guys, we still post a video every single Wednesday for you to devour. So as always, see you in the next one. Goodbye.